this video I'm going to discuss the uh, the operation of the single phase energy meter IC Atmel 9826 briefly about the uh, uh, main functions and we will discuss the calibration procedure so to those who are not familiar with the with this IC this is a single phase energy meter uh, IC which has built-in functions to measure the uh, electrical parameters the voltage, the current, uh, frequency, and the power factor. Plus, it measures the uh, energy, the active and reactive uh, power, and the energy. Uh, and it stores the da data into built-in uh, registers, as you can see here. These are the energy registers, and here are the measurement registers. These data are the the, are communicated to the microcontroller through either SPI or UART uh, communication. The tricky part of this kind of uh, uh, IC is the calibration. Uh, it's described in detail into the application in the application note. In the application note, and there are a lot of parameters which need to be uh, set up in order to. Uh, make proper calibration as you can see there are several steps and each step there is different constants which need to be uh, updated or configured in general the calibration procedure is described in this flowchart so basically at the beginning the IC is in default mode uh, enters num metering mode it means that when you power up the IC it's not going to start metering and uh, the regist measurement registers and the energy registers will not get updated so this default mode need to be changed either to a calibration mode which can be set using this value into these registers or into the metering mode which are these values into these the same registers so to enter into the calibration mode we have to put 567 into the cal start adjust start then we have to configure the M mode register. This is only configuration. We have to only change few bits depending on our uh, hardware uh, or uh, our circuit. The parameters which we need to calculate uh, during the uh, calibration are the PL constant, PQ offset, L gain, U gain, I gain, and the phi gain. These I'm going to describe into in detail uh, based on the Excel sheet which I did in order to calculate uh, automatically these values in the next video.